Hey, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. For your new souls that's chiming in, welcome to my channel. What a blessing it is to have you here with me. Sheree here from Soul Deep Designs, and I'm telling you, I am excited about today. It's a fast tutorial, y'all. You know Mother's Day will be here soon, and this will be a great gift, as well as just a gift, or if you um, wanted to add some decor to your home, this will be another great gift. And um, what I'm talking about today, or tonight, we are going to be, or I'm going to be showing you how to sew an envelope pillowcase. Easy peasy, y'all. Fast tutorial. You don't have to worry about zippers. So any of y'all that's intimidated by zippers, this is definitely for y'all, all right? And it don't take long. And you can crank these out. And I'm telling you, you can just get really creative and create these uh, pillow uh, cases or pillow covers. Uh, to your liking and so listen without further ado meet me over there at the sewing cutting table and I'm gonna show you um, what supplies I used and uh, we'll go from there so I'll meet you over there come on souls all right beautiful souls okay we are over here at the cutting sewing station and let me show you what supplies I used for uh, to complete this project um, you can use pins, um, you can use or either Wonder Clips, I chose to use the uh, Wonder Clips. You can use, uh, of course, the weights. And uh, like I said, um, I, I do have these linked below, but um, you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get some of those washers and they will work the same, y'all, I'm telling you. Okay, so don't think that you have to have this. You can use anything for weights. You can use cans. Um, and let me show you. You're going to need, of course, your pillow form. And I'm going to show you how to measure uh, your pillow form. This is an 18 by 18. You're going to need your main piece of fabric. And this fabric right here, I actually uh, supplemented it. I took it into Illustrator, designed it. I'm pretty sure y'all seen this picture around, beautiful picture. Um, and I just added the lines and added the, um, the animal print colors and all that other kind of good stuff. So you're gonna need your main uh, piece. And this is uh, 18 by 18. And you're going to need the back of your pillow form. And let me show you how you measure this. If you have whatever pillow form that you have, you cut the front exactly the same size. So I have an 18 by 18 pillow form and you uh, cut this 18 by 18. In order to get the envelope um, look or the envelope, uh, envelope form, you take um, 18, you divide it by two which that would give me nine, right? And then after you um, divide it by two, you um, get nine and then nine, you add two uh, more inches to nine, which is 11. So um, these are 11 by 18, because of course I have to go the height of my pillow form and of course 11 going across, all right? And so let me say that again, 18 by 18 divided by two, which gives me nine. And nine plus two um, is 11. And I cut two pieces, 11 by 18. After I cut those pieces, 11 by 18, I take the edge of it. And um, I just fold it over probably like half an inch. And as you can see, I just sew along this edge. And I do that for both pillow forms. I mean, both uh, fabrics, okay? And you can see I just armed it and just sewn the closest I can to the edge. After you get finished with that, hopefully you can see, I hope this light is not too um, much of a um, reflection. And after you get finished with that, 
you take your pillow form, main fabric that you want, I'm sorry, um, your main, you put that face up, you take one piece at a time, and you make sure it's face down, so face up, you know, for the facings can be touching together. And the edge that you sewn um, um, from the um, pillow material, that goes on the inside. And so you do your best to line up from edge to edge. And as you can see, edge, top, bottom, all is nice and together. You take, oops, sorry. Then you take the other piece, same thing, uh, facing each other, the face face each other, and you just put it straight as you can. Make sure everything is lined up. Make sure all your edges are lined up as well. And this is where you can either use your uh, pins or you can use your clips. And I am going to use just the clips. And what I'm gonna do, definitely make sure it's the edge and I am just going to start clipping, going around the form. That's all I'm doing. I want to make sure everything is straight. So if you have to move it over, adjust, this is the time that you do it right now. Because you want to make sure that everything is straight before you go ironing. Okay? Top to bottom, make sure everything is lined up. And this is how easy it is, y'all. And after we go to the sewing machine, listen, we're gonna be done after we sew this. We could put our pillow on there. And one thing I like about this um, technique is that you can take your pillow forms out and you can uh, wash um, your uh, form. I mean, not the form, you know, but your casing. And um, and that's it. And so, as you can see, oh, let me make sure I get every, every, every corner. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to the sewing machine and we are gonna sew all the way around, okay? All the way around. Not leaving any openings or anything because this is our opening, all right? And so let's go over to the sewing machine and let's sew this pillow casing. See you over the sewing machine. All right, beautiful souls. We are here at the uh, sewing machine and we are just going to sew all the way around our um, material. And um, it's really no rhyme or reason. It really depends on where you want to start. Do you want to start uh, with length? All of it is the same, 18. So I am just going to start um, at the, uh, what I say, maybe the top. And I am just going to uh, do a quarter inch. And um, I have my Teflon foot on, um, but you can actually use a regular foot. Um, but I just have my Teflon foot on because I was using it earlier, all right? And I am just going to go a quarter inch. Don't forget the back stitch. And we are just going to sew all the way around. Uh, make sure you take your time. Make sure that um, your pillow form is still uh, straight. Everything is together. Everything is lined up, especially um, at your opening. And. Um, and that's really all we're doing, y'all. It's just, just like that, easy peasy. I'm telling you, y'all can just crank these out, so many of these at a time. Great for uh, gifts, Mother Day gifts. And um, and so, uh, yeah, we are just gonna go and uh, sew around, quarter inch.
Okay, guys, we are almost done to connect. We're going to back stitch, making sure that uh, that stitch met. All right. And we're going to cut that thread. Okay, when we get to this point, we are going to go ahead and I'm just going to trim my corners. Just make sure you trim your corners um, without cutting into uh, your uh, thread. That's all I'm doing. Just cutting my corners, just makes it a little easier. And um, also, what I'm going to do, um, because if you notice, you see how this is like fraying right here. And um, I am just going to take a lighter. Don't burn yourself, y'all, or catch yourself on fire. And that's all I'm doing. And as you uh, can see, hopefully you can see that it just takes care of those strings. Or you could use also Fray Check. They have a thing called Fray Check. And so that looks good. And um, what I'm going to do now, um, we are just going to turn this buddy uh, inside out. I'm just going to push the corners out. Turn it inside out. out those corners make sure you don't um, poke them too hard because you don't want to poke a hole uh, in your corners and I'm just going to do that for all sides I'm going to push it out mostly of course with my hand okay so all I'm doing make sure that it good it out Struck my scissors, y'all. Just like that. We're gonna look. And we're making sure everything is straight. And I am just gonna go. I'm gonna arm this down. The crease is real nice, y'all. And um we will uh, uh, then put that pillow form in there, all right? And so we are done. Look how beautiful that is. I don't know if you can see it, but we'll see it better um, once we do the form. Turn this down so you can kind of see, because I don't know if that's just too light. Um, but yeah, so we're going to orange this down, and um, we're going to put our pillow in, y'all. So I will be back, or we're going to meet you over there on the other side of the table. All right, beautiful souls. We are complete um, with our uh, project. And let's see how it turned out. Uh, after I sewed it, went on and ironed it down flat as I could. And let me show you the results. Look at that, y'all. Is that beautiful? Look at that. Turn it around. And as you can see, this overlaps. All right. And so now I'm getting ready to put the pillow in. I got my pillow. Let me see. I'm just going to put it in there real quick. 
Let's see if it work, y'all. Making sure it's hitting those corners. Take the other side. I'm gonna push that pillow in there. I'm just trying to form it. Making sure that the corners are in the corners. I have to play around with it until you get it to how you want it. Yeah, look at that, y'all. That's it. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Can y'all see that? And then, if you turn it around, you can open it. Like I said, you can just keep on pushing like the pillow in there play around with it, but for the most part, there is your envelope pillow. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Even if you make a couple of them and you have this one on that end, it's still beautiful. Let me turn it back around, and there you go. Nice, ooh, fluffy, great Mother's Day gift, y'all. Just a good gift, even um, if you're redecorating your home, um, anything like that. So. I just encourage you y'all to come on and do this. It's easy, like I said. Um, just remember how you uh, measure your pillows. And um, as you can see up here, see, that you know, you could just like push your pillow up so you really have to just play around with it. But other than that, hey, y'all, it's done. It looks nice. And I am so grateful that you hung out with me today to complete this tutorial. I hope you find this tutorial um, to your pleasure and if so y'all if you're not subscribed to soul's channel yet please consider subscribing um hitting that like button and sure enough hit that notification bell because i'm telling you you don't want to miss out on soul's creations because we are going to be doing some deep and dynamic stuff y'all and so um here it is i want to thank you and remember until the next time y'all don't let nobody tell your story. Tell your own story, all right? Until the next time we meet, peace.